I'd like to call a council meeting for November 28th to order. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided as required under Chapter 231 PL 1975 specifying time, date, location, login, or dial-in information and to the extent known. The agenda by posting a copy of the notice in a municipal building, municipal court, and two municipal library bulletin boards. M municipal website providing a copy to the official newspapers of the township and by filing a copy in the office of the township clerk in accordance with the certification by the clerk which will be entered into the minutes. To order, in order to ensure a clear record of the meeting can be made and that all parties are heard in an organized fashion, all members of the public that are participating remotely will be muted during the meeting. The township will provide for public comment periods for both remote and in-person attendees separately. If a member of the public wishes to speak during any public comment portion of the remote attendees, please raise your hand. This can be done either through Zoom app by pressing star nine on your phone. When it's your turn to speak, you will receive a prompt to request to unmute. Please click on the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute and begin making your comments. All members of the public will have three minutes to speak and should ask any and all questions they may have during that period. At the conclusion of your three minutes, remote attendees will be muted again. In-person attendees will also receive three minutes to ask any and all questions and may then take a seat at which time the council or administration will respond as necessary. Should you have any further comments or questions, the Township Council is always available by email and phone, and you can always call the mayor's office during normal operating hours. Each member of the public shall have one opportunity to speak during each public portion, as technology does not allow us to know if there are multiple colors on the individual phone line or login user account. We ask that you that if you wish to speak, that you log in or dial separately so that we can recognize you as a separate individual. Mr. Seed, would you please take the roll? Councilwoman Cahill? Here. Councilwoman Carmichael? Here. Councilman Espinosa? Councilwoman Lombardi? Here. Councilman Rouse? Councilman Shaw? Council President Earn. Here. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number five, comments from administration and council regarding adjournment of any matters on this agenda. No comments, Council President. Okay. Item number six, open to the public. Comments regarding cons item number eight, consent agenda items. For remote attendees, if you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on Zoom app or by phone by pressing star nine. When it's your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. This is for remote attendees. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. I'm going to close the remote portion. For in-person attendees, if you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council administration will then respond if necessary. This is for the consent agenda item number eight. I see none. I'm going to close the in-person portion. Item number seven, ordinance on a second reading. Amending and supplementing Chapter 7, Traffic Section 40, Control for the Movement and Parking of Traffic on Public and Private Property to Assist Title 39 Jurisdiction on 100 Springfield Avenue. This is open to the public as a resolution adopting ordinance. See, did you please read the ordinance? Be it resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance to Amend and Supplement the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Piscataway County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, Amending Chapter 7 Traffic, Section 40, Control for the Movement and Parking of Traffic on Public and Private Property to Assert Title 39 Jurisdiction on 100 Springfield Avenue was introduced on the 9th day of November 2023 
and had passed the first reading and was published on the 16th day of November 2023. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance, having had a second reading on November 28, 2023, be adopted, passed, and after passage be published together with a notice of the date of passage or approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2023-30. This is open to the public. For remote attendees, if you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on Zoom app or by pressing star nine on your phone. When it is your turn to speak, you receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. I'm gonna close the remote portion. For in-person attendees, if you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions and the council administration will respond if necessary. See none, I'm gonna close the public portion. Do I have a motion? Motion. motion. Second. Seated, please take the roll. Councilwoman Cahill? Yes. Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Council President Ern. Yes, item passes on a second reading. Item number eight, consent agendas. For efficiency, items have been consolidated into consent agenda to be voted on together. The materials of these items have been distributed to the council in advance of the meeting. At this time, are there any items that the council would like removed from a consent agenda to be discussed or voted on separately? See none, do I have a motion? Motion to accept the consent agenda. Do I have a second? Second. Carmichael. you please take the roll. Councilwoman Cahill? Yes. Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Council President Ern. Yes, item passes. Item number nine, announcements and comments from officials. Um, I just want to remind everyone that um, Santa will be making a visit to the mayor's TV show on Monday, December 4th, 7 p.m. Um, the telephone number is published on the website, on our social media sites. Please make sure to have your kids call in with um, their request from Santa. Thank you. <laughs> Councilman Carmichael. And don't forget the tree lighting on Friday, December 8th at 7 p.m. right here on the front lawn of the town hall. Looking forward to seeing you all. <laughs> Councilman Lombardi. Everybody is talking about different Christmas festivities. East Jersey Old Town has this Saturday, um, December 2nd, 11 to 4, over at East Jersey Old Town over by River Road. So that's always a nice uh, holiday event. This is Mr. Tim DAC. Uh, nothing tonight. Mayor? Uh, financial matter, just want to let everybody know that Standard & Poor's reaffirmed our rating to AA plus stable, which is the second highest in, that the town can have. Great news. Council Attorney? No comments, thank you. And I have no comments either. Consent agenda, uh, item number 10, agenda session for December 5th. Fully funded sewer ordinance, second reading, 2,500,000 various sewer improvements. This is open to the public resolution adopting ordinance. Bond ordinance, second reading, 4,220,000, 4,900,000 various capital improvements. So this will be open to the public, the resolution adopting ordinance. And uh, Council President, if I may add, that has to do with our road project for next year, the various roads that we're going to be doing. Ordinance on a first reading, amending and supplementing various chapters of your municipal code. There's a resolution adopting ordinance. Resolution authorizing award of bid 2023-2024, temporary disposal management, area log and vegetative debris removal, Nature's Choice, New Jersey, LLC, not to exceed $88,725. Uh, resolution renewal for contract of prescription health and dental insurance. Res Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield for New Jersey, January 1st, 2024 to December 31st, 2024, per rate schedule. 
resolution authorizing budget transfers and resolution authorizing chapter 159 opioid settlement. Item number 11 for remote attendees. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on Zoom app or by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, we will receive or hear or request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The Council of Administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. I'm going to close the remote portion. For in-person attendees, if you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the Council of Administration will then respond if necessary. A street sweep came in my neighborhood this yesterday. Please state your name and address. My name is Costas Eftimios, 58 Curtis Avenue, and I welcome anyone to come and look around that property, 58 Curtis Avenue. Please come. A street sweep came in my neighborhood yesterday. A finagle job. On the corner of 7th and Curtis, there was a whole bunch of branches and a pile of leaves all in the street, onto the curb, across the walkway. Been like that since this summer. If I could, I would, but I've been punished by our prosecutor and our justice of the peace on account of that. So I won't pick it up, but I will pick up what the street sweep left behind. Now, if you were to come in your district and start walking around, or even just drive around, Mr. Hreen, we need you. You're not working for us, are you? Ring doorbells and point out the ordinance violations in the street to every single person you see and I saw. Now, these $88,000, would that include the corner of 7 and Mansfield Avenue, please? Help me with that. Renovate it, clean it up, and vacate. Thank you for your comments. Take a ride over there tomorrow and take a look at it. Anyone else wishes to speak come to the podium? Okay, I'm going to close the public portion. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Have a good night.